Hi everyone, it's Chris from My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop and My Girlfriend's Sewing Machine and Education Center. And we are coming to you live from Logan, Utah, <laughs> where it is snowing. It has been snowing, it finally stopped, but it's been snowing quite a bit. <laughs> so, okay. Do we want the mic? Oh, yeah, yeah, we probably want the mic. Do we know, do we have a mic? Do we know where it's at? <laughs> okay, I will talk really loud, okay. So it's been snowing and it's beautiful outside. Sorry, we're a little delayed in getting this video up uh, like we wanted to. So Jess had school. We won't we won't say who's whose fault that was. Jess had school. Jess had school. <laughs> give give a shout out, Jess. Go ahead and wave to everyone. Hi everyone. Okay. <laughs> so Jess is here. She just finished her morning class and I forgot she had it, so here we go. All right, so hopefully you all are getting on. Any questions before we get started? We are going to talk about our Stash Buster Challenge of 2019. And in particular, I'm gonna show you how to do the bow tie block. And this is a, kind of a different block. It's three-dimensional bow tie block which is a lot of fun it's a great technique you can use it with any size blocks you want we want you to download the free pattern found on our website where you'll see how the block goes together and we base it off of five inch squares so what i want you to do is go through your stash and cut 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 away five inch squares i bet you can do that right and for every block in your quilt you'll need a total of five five inch squares okay five five inch squares and in order to qualify for the challenge that we have we need you to make at least 20 blocks okay at least 20 blocks so that it's going to start to make a dent out of your stash i don't know how much of a dent but that will at least get rid of 100 five inch squares right and that's what it takes to make a baby size quilt now on the pattern you'll see the other sizes if you want to make it into a throw size quilt or a queen or a king size quilt we've got all the the sizes there for you on the pattern okay any questions so far mm -mm. no all right Okay, so let's get started. So how do you make this fun bow tie block? Well, let's take a look at what it looks like before we get started. Basically, you have your background fabric right here, and then you have what looks like a bow tie. Isn't that cute? But the thing that's a little different about this block is that it actually has some dimension. Can you see that? So the sides sew into there, but you have a little dimension. So it adds a little poofy element. Look, we did a separate block there. You don't have to do your bow tie all the same. Here's some more blocks we've done. Now this one, I actually stitched down the center, uh, that center block, I stitched around all four edges. And that way you can choose whether you want it to be more poofy or if you want it nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you could even do all different. Yeah. If you wanted to, you could do a completely scrappy bow tie block. And here we have five different pieces of fabric. So it really is up to you. Again, what I want you to do is bust through that stash. All right, so once these come together, you could put it in something that looks like, like if you have them all going in the same direction, one after the other, like that, and you could create this cascading effect of the quilt, or you could even situate these. This has a great little pattern that falls into place when you start to move these around a little differently. Okay, I'll just use this one for the sake of just showing this. Do you see the secondary pattern that's created here when I situate my blocks that way? That's kind of fun, right? So lots of different ways to be able to do this. 
and we can't wait to see how you do it. You could also put it on point if you wanted to. So you have the blocks on point like this and you start adding them in like that. And you've got a really cute look there as well. And you can also do it into an X. You could also do it into an X. So you would. Okay, so see. show us how that would work, Jess. Okay, I'm gonna try it one hand. Okay, so you do it like this. Oh, right, with these blocks going in the center. There yeah. you go. So that's really fun too. So lots of different ways to do this. Again, in order to qualify for the challenge, we want you to make at least 20 blocks. And 20 blocks will make a baby size quilt, four blocks across, five blocks down. These blocks end up finishing at nine inches, okay? So how does the block go together? Well, let me show you how that's done. All right, so you're gonna start out with your five inch blocks. I've got some right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these two the, the bow tie. These two are gonna be my background pieces, and this is going to be my center of the bow tie. Now again, if you wanted to, you could have the same center be the same as this, but for kicks and giggles, I'm gonna make it a little different. So whatever is your center of your bow tie, you're going to fold in half with wrong sides together, okay? I know that's a little different than what we're used to. Let me, Just a little off. There you <laughs> let go. me get that a little bit better. Okay. And just finger press that. No need to grab an iron. Just finger press it. Again, these are wrong sides together. Okay. Then you'll take your background block and you'll place this right on top. Oops so that the raw edges match up like that. And then you'll take one of your bow tie ends and you'll put it right side down right there, okay? So we actually have four layers of fabric right here. One, two, three, and four, okay? And they're all matched up along the top. Okay, so then what you'll do is you'll take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch seam allowance along one side. Doesn't matter, you could do it on this side, you could do it on this side, but we're gonna do it just along one of the edges. So I'll come over here to the sewing machine and do just that. Okay, so it looks like that. Now what you'll do is you'll open this up and you're actually going to take this bottom square and have it match up with your top square. Just give that a little bit of a finger press as well. And your five inch square that was folded in half, that, that center piece, is actually right out here. Just hanging in the wind, okay? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. So whatever is on your top, you want that to be now on the bottom on this side. We're gonna make a little quilt sandwich on this side. And because we want them opposite, that's why we're gonna, whatever was here is now goes down there. And then whatever was on the bottom is now gonna go on top, right sides together, just like that. Okay, just like that. And now what you'll wanna do, I should have cut these a little bit better. There we go. You're going to now take it and stitch along that side. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now you have, well, if we pull this out, whoops. <laughs> Forgot to catch that. Oh, 
all the the joys of live TV. Okay, let me let me try that again. Does anyone have any questions so far? <laughs> Everyone's Jeez. just saying how cute they are. Oh, good. Okay, don't do as I do. Oh boy, now the threads come undone. Okay, has that ever happened to you? Lisa's over there laughing at me. <laughs> How many of you have already started the stash busting challenge? Yeah. If you've started, we'd love to hear. This is when I need a seam ripper. But I'll just, I'm just going to make do. It's all good. It's live TV. <laughs> all right. Let me try that again. This time I'm going to get it in there. You're going to see two lines. It's going to look horrible, but yours is going to look beautiful, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I still didn't. <laughs> You know, this is, uh, <laughs> please say you're laughing with me, or you yes. can be laughing at me, it's fine, too. Okay, okay, so, anyway, we have something that looks like this. Don't get too close of a shot, Jessica. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Michelle says the same thing happens to me all the time. Oh, my heck, oh, jeez. Okay, so, it looks... Really ski wampus. It looks really weird. What in the heck is going on? It's done with you this can throw it out. out. <laughs> <laughs> so what we need to do, you're gonna have something that looks like this, like a bridge between two houses. Okay? All right. Now here's the magic. We we are making a four patch, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this piece, we're gonna grab this one, and we're going to put them together so that this matches up. Now, you've got something kind of crazy going on there, right? What you have to do is you just have to open up that little tube, open up that bridge, okay? So that your seams meet up in the middle. Can you see that right there? Mm -hmm. Your seams are gonna meet up and it's helpful to have them, you know, one going in one direction, one going in the opposite direction. And I'm gonna take my pins and just pin right through there, all right? And then what I'll do is I'm going to pin the ends as well. So I want these all to match up. So I pin my center, I pin my ends, Boy, that's a crazy looking pin. And then we're gonna do one over here. All right, so you've got three pins in there. Now, what I want, and it's it looks takes a little bit of practice here, but you, you got it, I know you, you can do this. You're just gonna put your finger right into there so that you can straighten that out and flatten that out as much as possible because you want the edges to align right there, okay, along the top. I'll just add one more pin for good measure. And again, we're just gonna kind of pull that out a little bit, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. And one more pin. Okay, so it's gonna look very strange to you. Because look at this, it's not like a straight seam, but I promise it straightens up, <laughs> okay? So now we're gonna um, sew all the way across here. And don't unpin right before. Like, don't. Just pin. Just get all the way to the get pin. Get as and close to, as you can to the pin. <laughs> Is that something you learned, Jess? Yes, because then it didn't catch it. <laughs> there we go. So like I said, as it goes to your machine, it's gonna straighten out, I promise. Okay, and this is when you feel like it's Christmas, if you did it right. <laughs> ah, there we go. Look, it just opened up like this. And again, it looks a little crazy, but look at that dimension there. And then you're going to press it 
and I would press it with some steam, okay? I don't have my iron right here, but that is your finished block. Yay! Pretty simple, right? Not bad. Just make sure you catch your seams, unlike Chris. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, right. any questions? Let me explain a little bit more about our Stash Poster Challenge. Uh, for those of you who may be new to this or may just be joining in with this and have some questions, uh, every month um, during the first week of the month, we are offering a free pattern download for some kind of block that is gonna become your stash buster, okay? And the challenge is to make that into a quilt by the following month, okay? Not in like three days. Not in three days. <laughs> and so, but the, the thing is that the pattern is only available for free for one week. Okay, so for one week only, that pattern is available for free, all right? Um, so you go to the website, you download the pattern, and then bust through your stash and go through it and make a quilt. And for this quilt in particular, for this month's challenge, you have to make at least 20 blocks, which will make a baby size quilt. Okay. You can make it larger if you want to, but that's the minimum is uh, 20 blocks. If you do that and take a picture of your quilt and post it on Facebook or Instagram using the hashtags my girlfriend's quilt shop and remember shop is S-H-O-P-P-E, my girlfriend's quilt shop or, and stash buster challenge 2019 if you use those hashtags with your picture, you will receive from us a 40% off one item coupon um, to use within the next two weeks. Okay, so when are the deadlines? If So for this month's challenge, okay, we're January 7th right now. If you have it done before February 10th, that gets you your 40% off coupon, which is pretty exciting, right? And just know that you don't have to have it bound and quilted. It's all good. Your quilter might hate so, you if you say, I need this done by <laughs> yeah, the, the quilter. We don't want to be on the bad side of the quilters, right? So <laughs> if you say, I have to have this done by the 10th. No, if you have it just put together, okay? Sewn together, all 20 blocks all sewn together as a quilt, take a picture of it you will qualify for that 40% that off coupon to be used in February, okay? But that's only if you get it done by February 10th. However, if you get it done between February 11th and February 28th, which is the end of the month, we still reward you, but this time it's a 25% off coupon, okay? So you have the 40% off coupon for those of you who are early finishers before February 10th, and the 25% off coupon if you're between the 11th and the 28th. Now, what if you're March 1st? Mm, no coupon, but that's okay. You can feel good knowing that you made a completed quilt, okay? So you don't have to, you know, qualify for the coupon if, if you're like, you know what, time's just gonna get away from me and I'm not gonna be able to do it. But let me tell you, it's a great incentive, especially if you have your eye on something special at the store or online to be able to get it done by the 10th of the next month, so. Um, there's a question. question. Is yes. the coupon for all products in the shop? Okay, the coupon is good, valid on most products. There are a few exceptions, not very many though. So all of the fabric, yes, um, the, your coupon is valid on. Notions, your coupon is valid on. It's not valid on machines or furniture. And there may be some select kits that it won't be valid on. But there will be other kits that it will be. So. Very few exceptions, I promise you that. So, and we'll make sure and let you know. Yeah, good question. What else? Um, if we don't get to your question live, we'll make sure and follow up with yeah. the video and, and Jess will answer your questions um, on, on Facebook. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then next month we'll have a new Stash Buster Challenge and we'll have a new pattern 
to help you get through that stash. And again, it starts over. So you can do this as many times as you want. And the fun part is if you actually make eight of the projects by the end of the year, eight out of the 12, uh, you'll qualify to be in a drawing for a $100 gift card to the shop and we're giving away three of them. So that's kind of fun too. Sometimes it's all about the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. You just wanna take on that challenge and say, I'm so tired of staring at all this fabric in the face. I'm ready to go do something with it. So that's why we created it. Awesome, they're, they're saying thanks for showing me that. I was having a hard time visualizing those yeah. two last seams. Yeah, it, it is a little bit hard to, to figure out on the pattern, so that's why we wanted to make sure and, and give you a video. It's a little yeah. bit easier to understand that way. Yep. We will also do, um, if you're on Instagram, we will have an IGTV uh, segment on how to make this block in particular. So you can always go back to that and just see, you won't have everything else going on in this video, uh, learning about the Stash Buster Challenge and all that. We'll do a video just on how this block goes together. So make sure and, and follow on IGTV, which is on our Instagram page. Any other questions? Okay, all right, my friends. Have fun sewing and uh, good luck with this new Stash Buster Challenge. We'll see you next time.